So here's Vader. Um, I should preface this by saying that I've never actually owned a Player Arts Kai before, believe it or not, all these years, never owned one. Handled some of the smaller ones, but never one of these big boys. And uh, it's really cool. It's nicely detailed throughout. He's big. I mean, you look at him in my hand. He's like 10 inches tall. He's not a small guy. Uh, he's made out of uh, harder and softer plastic depending on where you are. So, for example, you know, around the chest here, you can see I can squeeze the rubber a little bit. But inside here, you can't. But here you can a little bit. Shoulder pads, once again, soft. Uh, don't know how that compares to other Play Arts guys. But the detail is, you know, the molding is nice. The joints click and... Everything moves and rotates and is on a ball joint. The paint is, I want to say, it's okay. Now, once again, we're not sure about the legitimacy of this product. And I just want to point out a couple of things paint-wise. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, overspray in this area. And just some of the detail in this, the paint is not... I mean, it's fine. But if it was, I have to wonder if that's, you know, would be like, for example, if you look here on the belt, you see it's just like a couple of smudgy bits, uh, whether or not that would have gone through the, the whole QA process. Uh, and here, and again, I don't know if this is detailing, like weathering, or is that, uh, you know, uh, an, an improper spray. I don't know. Anyway, uh, while we're on the back here, you can see this is rubber flips up pretty easy and there are joints there so the, the cape is actually uh, two pieces that's jointed so if you wanted to have sort of Vader in a flowing cape sort of pose you could very easily do that and they click nicely the head turns it's a little stiff um, but it does what it needs to do the ear is a chest joint on the top. And now is a weird bit that, once again, I think this is just more of the, the figure, but this cape, he's, like, he's got like a secondary um, capes, his lower capes, I don't mean calm, but those ride a little high if you're not paying attention to it. So it can look a little weird, like if you accidentally jammed them up here, you'll end up seeing the the joints in the legs and that's probably not something you want. So you just make them ride a little low. But while you're down here, you can see, yeah, clicky joints, rotates. There's a double knee joint there, and nice ball joint. And there's even a little, it's a toe swivel. So overall, the, I mean, like I said, the figure is, it's really nicely done. I really didn't put a lot of thought to standing him up there. You'll have to forgive me. So there are accessories that come with Vader. He comes with a, a lightsaber. Two lightsabers, actually. One of which is a little weird. Uh, it's, I mean, this is, it's not a, it's not translucent, but I mean, in any version of it, it's not translucent. So it's not like this is a KO artifact of it. You know, it's, it's supposed to be solid with this little white, glint at the top. The handle is nicely detailed all around, so no complaints there. You also get this uh, this other bladed lightsaber effect that is supposed to be like, well, it's in motion, and this one is translucent, and it has the fist molded onto the handle, so you don't have to worry about it. Another one that you have is you have this sort of force effect that he just sort of holds up in his hand and just basically says look I'm a badass and just kinda I don't know smell the force I guess <laughs> and he has some other you know open hands and closed hands and uh, that kinda stuff so it's a pretty decent figure I like it it's you know it's it's cool it's it's nice now, once again, I got this from uh, Gearbest. 
and they are uh, out of Hong Kong. So, but they they ship fast and they ship safe, and the prices are reasonable. And they're these aren't that expensive. So, I mean, it's a low like I said, it's a low barrier of entry if you wanted to get an idea of what the Play Arts Kai variant line is like. It's like on one hand, I don't necessarily condone out and out forgeries, but on the other hand, these things are rather expensive on the regular market, so to get one uh, of pretty much the same quality for a fraction of the cost to see what the, the, the deal is with these figures is not bad. So just just be be aware of what you may be getting into but i can tell you that i am you know re reasonably picky about my figures and this is a really great quality figure yeah so that's about all there is to say about darth vader the dark lord of the sith